Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. Now, you guys know that the community is a huge part of what we do here at Flight Test. Huge source of inspiration and a huge source of resources. Yeah. So every once in a while, we like to kind of go into the community, find out what's going on, who's building what, how it's going, and kind of feature that on our episodes. Exactly. Now, we have forum groups, articles, and what we're going to be doing is dipping into both of those. And there's going to be detailed links down below so you guys can learn more about these awesome individuals and the projects they're working on. But the first one we have is not even a foam board airplane, which we're typically used to. It's mm -hmm. a bosswood plane designed by Raphael. Now, Raphael, he saw plans for a plane built by Scott Swanson, yes. uh, the Highlander. Highlander. It's actually a scaled down version of a full scale model created by Just Aircraft. Yeah. It's a stall aircraft. And so Raphael decided to scale it up to I think 164.7%. To be exact. To be exact. Yeah. Now the cool thing about this is, as I said before, this is not just a foam board airplane like mm -hmm. you know what we see a lot and what we feature a lot. This is a 20cc gas motor yeah. on mostly you know balsa wood, plywood, but he also used foam board and, and fiberglass yeah, and to pine. make a strong light and pine. Yeah. Yeah, he used a lot of different materials. He put a lot of intricate work into it. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, the final result was beautiful, and he did a really good job recording his whole process and his journey. He put over 12 months into work on this. Yeah, if you want to see more of it, click the link below. Now, Tim Brush is somebody else. Uh, on the articles, I think he's uh, Phoenix 1962. Yes, an awesome story of a great collaboration. Yeah, now he, he's actually been pretty active on the on the articles for a while, but he took some time off for a little bit there. Yeah, sadly he had to drop out of the scene for a little while because he suffered a heart attack. Yeah. Now, Tim actually has a passion for twin engine warbirds, mm -hmm. and he designed an awesome P61 Black Widow. Yeah, it's really big too. It's, it's like 57 inch wingspan. It's a big boy, like yeah. And yeah. it's all made out of foam board and a huge opportunity to collaborate. Uh, this is another testimony to how great our community is. Nerd Nick. Black Belt RRF? Black, yeah, Black Belt RRF. Something like Something that. like that. And then Flying Penguin. Flying Penguin. Mm -hmm. Yep, they all rallied around Tim to help him complete this project. And actually, from what I understand, Tim actually sent Black Belt RRF or Black Belt RRF a, uh, a kit to build as well. Yeah. So it's a really great collaboration. This thing you would not know it's made out of foam board. Yeah. It is a work of art. It looks great. Now this design is actually designed around a Power Pack C twin, which makes it really economical for other people to try this out as well too. Now if you want to see the P61 in flight, there's actually a video in the article too. I think it's a black belt rough that's actually flying it. So check it out. Now, Brian McBurney, also known as Tench745 yes. on the forums, he uh, actually is working on a Mark III, which Mark is like III. a fantasy plane. Mark III right? Cafe uh, Racer, I think what they call it. And yeah, I think it's like a fantasy airplane. It doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. But he was inspired by a Brazilian artist, David Correa. Okay. And he saw this beautiful article picture, and that inspired him to really push foam board to the limit. Yeah. And not just build an airplane that flies, but also build a crazy amount of scale detail, even into the engine. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. Now, he started out working on a Mark I, and mm -hmm. then two, and now he's up to three. Yep. So we're interested to see how it flies. Now, Brian not only did some amazing scale techniques with foam board, but he also made his own plugs and actually vacuum formed plugs plastic pieces for this project. Yeah. He has it all down in his forum post and he is going to fly it soon when the weather gets better. So go ahead and follow that link, follow that forum post and you can see it fly for the first time. Now, if any of you attended last year's Flight Fest East, mm -hmm. you're going to remember a certain World War One reenactment called the Gotha Gaggle. Yeah, right. And that was where a whole bunch of Flight Test family members got together and they made a project. And Josh Orchard built this beautiful Gotha bomber. And then about 50 plus other people built these little baby barons that Dan Sponholz designed. Fun. This year, they're coming back with a new project. Yeah. And it's going to be an air race. Yeah. So they're building the Bugatti. Yep, Josh Orchard is building the Bugatti, and it's extreme. It's beautiful. Now, if you guys remember Josh Orchard, he not only did the Gotha bomber, but he also, in years past, did something called a Sikorsky, and it was a beautiful amphibious airplane. It was a real work of art that he built at the very first Flight Fest. It flew at the very end of it. Yeah. yeah Josh Orchard did an amazing job. This plane is built out of balsa wood, fiberglass, plywood, you know, foam, uh, and it even has the authentic style motor where it has contra rotating props on it too. So, you know, one prop's going one way, the other mm -hmm. prop's going the other way. It's all on the same axis. It's a yeah. work of art. So obviously we're really looking forward to seeing this. It's going to be at Flight Fest East. Yes. And you guys can check out the progress in the link below. Uh, but this is a very complicated build. Yeah. So somebody else from the community, Ben Harbour, actually went in the complete opposite direction and he developed a baby Bugatti out of foam. Now, Ben Harbour, obviously, as much as Josh has a passion for complicated, I think Ben has a passion for simplicity and ease of build. Now, this is only just one sheet of foam, and it's also a very easy plane to both build and fly. Our great folks at the Beta Builders, they're actually working through the plans right now to try to make sure the build experience is as easy and as approachable as possible. The plane is adorable. Now, uh, an underlying theme under both the complicated Josh Orchard Bugatti and the baby Bugatti was the community. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The community stepped in to help out in a huge way. And you can check out the links below, see the articles, and see the progress of 
both Bugattis. Yeah, both links and both forum threads are really, really built out with uh, videos, flying experiences, testimonies, and also a lot of quick tips you guys can take on your own projects. Now we've said it a million times, but obviously the community plays a huge part in what we do at Flight Test. So guys, keep it coming. Keep your yeah. ideas coming, keep the plans coming. We wanna see it, because honestly, we're inspired by it. Absolutely, and we're looking forward to featuring more custom projects in the next episodes in the future. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.